Hey there YouTube, my buddy here is going to show you how to do the OTK with uh, Magician and Shark and the wind-up deck. Okay, here so we go. For this OTK, the ones you need to have available, these are the cards you're going to go into, are these four. You're going to go, you have your Carrier, your Utopia, Giga Brilliant, and the Photon Papalo Operative. So that's your Papalo Operative, I don't know what he calls himself. So to start this combo, all you need is these two monsters in your hand, everything else is going to come from your deck or your graveyard. So what you're going to want to do is you want to normal summon the Magician. And then you're going to use the effect to reveal because it starts to chain and special summon the shark. When the effect of that goes off, you're going to special summon out of your deck another Magician. Now with this Magician, he hasn't used his effect yet, so you're going to activate the effect of shark. You're going to change him from a level 4 to a level 3. Doing that activates the effect of wind-up Magician to special summon the rad. You always have to remember that when Magician special summons, it's always in defense. That's why this combo becomes more difficult. So you're going to exceed those two magicians because they have both used their effects for Popolo Operative. And then you're going to detach one of your magicians, that's going to be our graveyard, to bring the rat back to attack mode. Then you're going to flip the rat immediately back to defense mode to bring the rat or the magician back to the field and face up attack. So now we have this is what our field's going to look like. We have a, a level three, and since our shark's a three, we're going to overlay four our only carrier. So now we have our carrier on the field. Now with the carrier we're going to detach and we want to detach the shark. And that's very important to make sure you get the right one detached. And the effect to the sh is going to special summon a c the kit's activate. The car carrier's effect is going to go off and we have the magician's effect. They're both going to activate simultaneously so we have Seagog so you have to determine which one you want to go with. We are going to special summon a rat. The rat is going to be special summoned by the effect of Mighty, so it is in face up attack position. And then with the final combo, it doesn't really matter, you can choose either a shark or a magician. It's really not as important as the rest of it. Yeah, and that one gets special, that one gets special in defense. Dep so now that we have that final four, it can be either one of those. It depends on which what you draw into your opening hand. If you have one or the other, you use the final one. You're going to exceed the final one for, and this, there's a kind of a, an option with this. You can go as a Meister, Utopia, pretty much any other, but Utopia is usually your safest bet. And then now that you've got this feel, the last effect is you switch Rat to defense mode bring shark to the field, activate shark effect to become a three, and your final exceed is going to be for Giga Brilliant. When you exceed for Giga Brilliant, you're going to detach the shark to activate its effect so everyone's going to gain 300. So by the time this is over, you're going to have 18, 24, 28, 21, which should, I believe it's 9100, 9200 on board. So it's more than enough if you do this first turn and they don't have a way to stop it based on monster back row. It's that's over 9000 on that's the field. That's enough for game. They cannot stop that combination from going through. And that's it. Loop number one. We'll be going to loop number two. This is going to be the OTK number two, starting with uh, opening with a tour guide and a shark in your hand. Alright, so with only these two cards to turn, the one you're going to go for is you're going to normal summon Tour Guide of the Underworld. With the Underworld, you're going to go, it doesn't really matter, you can go Songin, Tour Guide, any one of the others, but you just need one of them to overlay. With your overlay, you want to go for the Carriers and Mighty, and then with the Zen, the Zen Mighty, you're going to detach to your graveyard to go for Magician. And then when the Magician is special summoned, you have your Shark in your hand, you're going to be effect to reveal to special summon the Shark. When the Shark gets special summoned to the field, he's going to set off the effect of the Magician. And with the Magician, we're going to search for one additional Magician. Now this Magician has not had its effect used yet, so that's very important. So we're going to overlay the four and the four Shark for a wind-up Zen Meister. The Zen Meister is important because we're going to be using it with the carrier. Now you're going to detach. Important again to make sure you detach the shark so you can use it later to flip the carrier face down. When the carrier goes face down, the effect of wind-up Zen Meister is going to activate your next wind-up magician. And you have two choices again. You can either go with a shark or a magician. It's really based on what your current options are or what your field looks like. For right now, we're going to go with a shark and we're going to overlay one more time this one for our beautiful butterfly again. So with our butterfly what we want to do is we're going to activate its effect to detach, we'll just uh, detach, let's just say the magician for now, and to flip the carrier back face up in attack position again. Now since the carrier's been flipped we can activate its effect again to detach one more to special summon a rat to the field. 
Now then the rat is your final combo where you're going to move the rat to defense position and you're going to choose your shark. With your shark you want to activate shark's effect to make it a level 3 and you'll do your final overlay for Giga Brilliant and detach for the boost. This combo is slightly less, it's only going to give you 8100 because because the effect of Pablo Operative he's going to lose 600 attack so you're going to have 21, 24, 12, and uh, 24 because he gains for the one succeed so that gives you exactly 8100 damage which is just enough for a game. And that's the LTK number two. Next one's going to be the Shockmaster play. All right, hey there. Uh, we're going to be going into the Shockmaster play, starting with uh, Magician and Shark. So your ending field should be. We're going to end, try to end with uh, these three exceeds on the board. These are our targets. So we're going to go Pablo Operative, Zen Mady, and then our Shockmaster, just for kicks and giggles. So you're going to start with a Magician and a Shark in hand. Everything else. This also gets more exciting if you have factories and stuff, but we're just dealing with a straight up hand. Uh, so you're going to normal summon the magician, which when he's normal summon, you're going to use the effect of shark. When you activate the effect of shark, you're going to activate the magician. The magician is going to use its effect to special summon another magician in defense mode. Now we have the shark, and we want to activate shark's effect to make it a level 3. When we activate a shark to become a level 3, the effect of wind up magician is going to go off, and we're going to special summon a rat in defense position off of the magician in defense mode. So since we've used both of our magicians, we're going to exceed both of them for our butterfly. Now with our butterfly, we want to detach to activate its effect to use the rat, and the rat is going to go into attack mode. And then now that the rat's in attack mode, we can flip it back to defense using its effect to special summon the magician to our side of the field. So since the shark is now a three and we have the rat used up, we can now exceed them for our wind-up carrier Zen Mighty. So we're getting now we still haven't used the effect of this magician, so this magician can still be activated. So we're going to detach to use the effect of carrier to special summon another magician. There it is. So now we special summon another magician, and then with our final combination using the, the magician, we're going to special summon a wind-up rabbit this time using its effect in defense mode. And then we're going to activate the effect of Wind Up Rabbit to remove itself from play. When that activates, we have one last magician that hasn't used its effect to be able to special summon a shark. And now that we have three level fours, we can exceed for our final combo, which is Shock Master. So you have your 2100 attack butterfly, your 1500 attack is carrier and then your shock master and then generally what you're going to want to do to in order to lock your opponent down if you do this first turn is you're going to want to detach from let's just say we're detaching the magician for the fun of it you're going to detach you're going to want to call spells because for their opening turn the only thing that they can possibly do to you if you call spells is set their back row which they can't activate that turn anyways or hit you with a monster effect and since we're running such a heavy back row lineup we're assuming that we have enough protection to save that monster and then then the turn after you can then kind of decide if you want to push for a game you can call trap or something and then really go at it and we also have to remember that since we removed the rabbit our next turn that rabbit's going to be coming back so we have the ability to use the rabbit again, and if the carrier survives, we also have the ability to use the carrier again to just continue our push. Very good. As you guys saw, the OTK and the Shockmaster play. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, uh, like my Facebook, check out my eBay store, JB Collectibles 530. Signing off.